Hey there, everybody. I'm Michael Haney, and I'm the creator of Chloe and the Professor. I'm also a moderator on Gamers Bay, and I'm doing this video, which I was originally, I originally wrote this whole long script, and I recorded it about a dozen times. I could never get it right. I kept changing stuff, and something told me. I felt drawn very strongly to doing this completely unscripted. I'm a spiritualist, and something in my heart told me I had to do this unscripted. And the basic, the reason why I'm doing this episode is because I have to take Chloe and Professor to a one-week episode, one week, one episode a week schedule. The reason for this is because there's a lot of work involved in making an episode. Uh, most of it's research. And then the rest of it is wrangling the voice to speech component of Plotagon. Setting up the scenes, placing the characters, writing the dialogue. That's easy. Choosing the right emotion of response is that easy. That's easy. Now, that part usually takes about a day. And then there is the going through of all the lines of dialogue, making sure the text-to-speech says it correctly. There are quirks with text-to-speech, and it's common with all text-to-speech programs, not just text-to-speech in Plotagon. It sometimes, depending on how the sentence is structured, depending on the words in the sentence, it tends to slur words, almost as if the program gets tongue-tied sometimes. And it's common. It happens with a lot of different kinds of text-to-speech applications. To combat this, I have to put punctuation in places where you normally wouldn't see it. And for mispronounced words, I sometimes have to um, write it phonetically. And there is a lot of dialogue in a Chloe, to, Chloe and Professor episode. I mean, it's almost, it's all dialogue. And there's a lot of it there. And going through that is, takes a long time. And it can sometimes be a four or five day process. And doing that twice a week is hard. I also want to diversify the content in my channel, and in order, to, in order to do that, I have to free up time. And that means only doing one Chloe and the Professor a week. So, for now on, there will be one episode every Friday. The new content, I still don't know what that's going to be. There is a Steam controller review I've been wanting to do for the longest time. We moved last year just before Thanksgiving. And I wanted to do the review back then, after I had gotten it and used it for a while. We have a Steam link, and I've been wanting to do the review on that also. And after, when we were moving, we stopped doing the video audio podcasts that we were doing. And they were completely unscripted shows. They were an hour to two hours long, mostly me and my roommate just rambling on about stuff. Uh, we had a, um, we had a topic, but you had to listen through a lot of our just BSing about the gaming industry and other things to get to it. Chloe the Professor, the episodes are shorter, the subject matter is more focused, and I'm able to do things with the show that most other gaming channels don't even try to do. We touch on important subject matter. And I think that Something like this is very necessary right now. It sends a message that young people need to hear. And even sometimes when it's difficult to hear. Sometimes when it's something that 
someone doesn't want to hear. When it's a truth that hurts too much, or is too hard to admit, is true. And I think something like Chloe the Professor is necessary. It's the right time for it. That's why I've been putting out the message that I've been putting out. You know, get out to vote, uh, send messages to the gaming industry using your wallet, you know, changing your purchasing habits in order to send a message, we don't like this exploitation, we don't like these business practices you're doing, stop it, I'm not going to buy your stuff anymore because of it. I no longer buy anything from Electronic Arts because of it. I've been wanting to try um, the new Battlefront. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. I have Origin, but I've never bought anything on it. Everything that I have were free downloads on Origin. The Battlefield games that were offered free because I bought some hardware. That's it. I never gave them given them any of my money not once i refuse to feed their greed now i've been buying stuff from ubisoft ubisoft seems to be trying i think they've seen that their practices were hurting the assassin's creed franchise um, Bar Cry Primal, I think, is their attempt to try something new with the franchise, Far Cry. You know, something that has been never been done before, instead of the same s stuff over and over again. I think they realize doing that is hurting their brand. It's hurting their franchise. EA and Activision... They haven't got the memo on that yet. And this is why I created this show. To send out messages like that. To let people know. To inform them. To get them to think about things this way. So... That's why I'm only going to do one episode a week. And I'm going to be doing some new kinds of programming to go along with it. I don't know what that will be yet. I do want to do a Steam controller review, a different kind of controller. I, I know what Valve is trying to do with the Steam controller. And I've never seen... Other reviews approach it with this angle before. So it would be rather unique. It would be a unique take on what I think they're trying to do with the Steam Controller. Most reviews have been, have been pretty uh, bad for it. Some have been good. I think the ones that are, that give the Steam Controller bad reviews, they completely missed the point of what it's for. But, I thought you all needed to know why there is no second episode this week. And I think I rambled on enough. So, until next time, namaste.